Hey, my name is Jonathan and I'm a PhD student in the School of Education. Hi, I'm Mavik. I'm also a PhD student with the School of Civil Engineering. Um, I think, yeah, like uh, as I said, like communication is the key and I think giving yourself mini deadlines, uh, discussing with your supervisors and making sure you're on time, on track and regarding your research, you and your supervisor are on the same page while you are doing it, so you're not diverting your topic from what you are intended to do. Um, so having that uh, foundation like, okay, you are on the right stage, you are doing what you were intended to do, and the supervisor is getting that confirmation like, okay, this person is on the right tack, track, it's actually keeping the relationship intact to going forward. Yeah, that's a good tip. Uh, something I'd also say is at the beginning of your candidature, Make sure you just have a chat to your PhD or your supervisor, whether that's master's or PhD, just have a chat and ask them about the expectations about you, like how are you going to communicate better or how should you communicate, how do you like to communicate, is it email or, or not. Um, something big as well as feedback, like um, one of my supervisors said to me, look, this is how I give feedback, mm -hmm. it's very direct, like is that okay with you, how do you like that. Now, she's a really good um, researcher, so she's really into feedback practices, but your supervisor, you might just want to have a chat to them and say, hey, look, for me, like, this is how I like feedback. I don't want you to be like super harsh, like tell me some good things. Um, like, I don't really like direct feedback. So knowing yourself, I think, because you, your supervisor really, they're there to help you, um, but sometimes because they're um, your supervisor, you know, they're gonna give you that hard love. Just mm -hmm. have a chat to them about how you like to receive feedback and what they expect from you, how to communicate. Um, and something that I would also say is if your supervisor is kind of steering you down a path that you don't want to head to, like make sure you tell them and say, hey, look, that's actually what I'm not interested in. Like this is what I'm interested in. Like can we have a chat about can we still do something that I'm more interested in or do I need to completely switch tax or you know, completely switch to a different um, kind of question? Like don't be afraid to ask those kind of hard questions. Even though it's a bit confrontational, it's really important to get on top of it yeah. and just say, hey, look, actually this is not what I want to do. And they're normally receptive, right? Because um, they're there to help you. So have those hard conversations. And if you're meeting with both supervisors, like I have two supervisors, I found that it's sometimes better just to meet with one. You might want to say to them, hey, can we just have a one-on-one -on -one meeting? I want to go through some stuff just with you personally. Because I found that meeting with both of them, sometimes one supervisor will not say as what they're really thinking because I don't know just how the dynamics work. So sometimes one-on-one -on -one meetings can really help with your supervisor. I would 100% agree with that one. I also have three supervisors yeah, yeah. and I meet with them separately mm -hmm. to get their directions towards the project to understand what their uh, expectation uh, out of the project. And plus, continuous communication is uh, very important. It's not like you talk to them once and six months later you went back there and asking what we can do now. That communication is already lost. They don't know what you are up to. So continuous communication, I think, really helps to keep that relationship intact. Yeah, yeah. And part of that is like um, sending emails after you've had a meeting, just say, hey, look, this is what we chatted about. Um, this is you know, what I took from it. Because often I will interpret what my supervisor was saying in maybe a different way. And so that's a great opportunity for them to say, hey, look, yeah, that was fantastic. But actually, you interpreted what I was yeah, saying a bit wrong. To make sure we are on the right page. Yeah. And your supervisors are so busy, so next time you have a meeting in a week or two later, they may have forgotten what you talked about. They just pull up the, e uh, the email notes and they just say, okay, yeah, last week this is what we chatted about. Um, so that really helps. As well as setting an agenda at the beginning of the meeting or even before the meeting, saying, hey, this is the three things I want to do during the meeting. And do you have anything that you want to add as a supervisor? And invariably they'll always say, yeah, I want to talk about this, this and that. And I think you know, having that agenda, having that meeting notes at the end, Really is helpful. And one more thing, like I think personally I kept a research journal. Mm -hmm. So after every meeting, what questions I asked and what were the response from my supervisors, I kept a thorough journal which is shared between all my supervisors. So it kept transparency between all the research fellows. So we are always on the same page. So I think that's what like helps us to keep moving forward. Yeah.